Hello and welcome gorgeous Gemini to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and messages for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you and spirit does want to bring through direct messages. So take notice of any signs, symbols, messages on the cards or several of the cards. You might like to jot them down for later. There is a special message there direct from spirit to you. So let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading for you. Let's take a look at your first card and it's the card of energy. So the first thing is I'm seeing that your energy is going to be at a really good level this week. You're going to feel like you have more energy. You're going to feel like you have enough energy to get done what needs to get done plus extra life force is flowing you're just in the flow with things it's really nice energy open yourself to receive the power from within so in fact you're going to be connected into your inner power your inner wisdom and this is going to help bring through the best energy possible in your life this week and there is a rebirth. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past, accept the positive change that is coming. So a change may have happened recently. You'll know if this is the case. Perhaps this change is on the way. This, this newness or this rebirth is coming in for you this week or sometime very soon from when you view this reading. I'm being drawn to you're finding new wings. So you're finding new ways of doing things. You're finding your feet with something. And it's um, to do with a rebirth or some kind of new energy. Connecting it into the first card here. Some kind of new energy. It's a beautiful um, set of cards there for you. So let's take a look at this deck for you, Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. Angels and guides, please bring through a message for Gemini. first quarter moon in Aries. So there may be an Aries in your life, someone significant and someone that you're corresponding with perhaps or someone that you are dealing with. Step into your power. So we have energy and power. So you're really taking back power from a situation that you didn't have it in previously. You're really making some changes and making some different choices in alignment with your own power. So I love this energy for you. I really do. New moon in Aries. So definitely in Aries. It looks like there is an Aries for sure in some of your lives. Go for it. Don't hold back. This week is not about holding back. It's about moving forward and just going for something that you may have been putting off or for whatever reason haven't gotten around to doing this. Maybe there's doubt or fear surrounding this particular thing as well. But whatever this is, place the energy in your life where it fits. Whatever area of life this is for you, it's time to just go for it. It's time to put your fears aside and know that this is in alignment with you stepping into your power. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Gemini. A change in direction is coming. So we have a rebirth, we have a message here saying positive change that is coming and a change in direction. So there, there's definitely in the works for you, Gemini. So over the next few weeks, you should start to see this change take place. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Follow your heart to a positive outcome. You can listen to your intuition. You can listen to what your heart is telling you. It is not leading you astray. It is giving great uh, direction to you. Energy work. So we have energy coming in a lot of energy around you and energy work so for some you're going to be an energy worker 
working with energy, a light worker perhaps. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So you might be a Reiki practitioner, for example, or someone who works with energy through their hands. So that might resonate for you or you might have a feeling you're wanting to investigate this more. Um, You might be wanting to change your vibration or change your energy field so you can bring in different things, manifest different things in your life. I do sense that for someone as well. So let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. This card here is yours. There is a partnership that's coming into focus. You're going to feel like you are in a partnership with someone. You will know that you are. It's going to become a lot clearer than it has been, perhaps. Teamwork will give you a better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with and build up a talented support team. So that might resonate for you. And the energy of support is around you as well. Ask for help if you need it. Get more rest and nurture yourself a little bit this week. A little bit extra self-care and nurturing. This energy of nurturing and support I also feel is directed toward something that you're wanting to accomplish or put your energy, going back to this very first card and as well as this energy work, put your energy toward You're nurturing something, you're putting energy into something and there is going to be a a wonderful payoff. This is going to be a, um, a dream when it starts to take flight. It is going to be a wish come true for you. A prayer is going to be answered. I do feel that you have been working with spirit. Some of you have been working with spirit to bring about this manifestation and a prayer is going to be answered. Spirit is telling me. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. The Empress is the mother. So you might be a mother. There might be interactions or communication with your children. Um, You might be, uh, this might resonate in terms of your, uh, your mother or grandmother. Even if they're passed over, there's an energy surrounding them and surrounding you. So there might be, in fact, a message that comes through from them, Um, this this uh, mother, this person that's had a mothering, mm, caring, nurturing influence in your life. And um, this is a beautiful energy for expressing yourself in a holistic way, in a full way, in an expansive way. And so that's on the that's on the horizon for you as well. Looks like you're moving into a newness, a new horizon, a rebirth um, with this um this thing that you're wanting to nurture you're wanting to care for so this is very exciting energy nine of pentacles it might be around finances or work you're you're really wanting to um, be comfortable and have uh, really you've got certain desires you've got certain wishes and you're are you really wanting them to come into manifestation and with the nine of pentacles i see that happening We also have a cat here, so there may be cats, kittens, you might be your pet, but there might be um, important interactions um, or something significant there with your pet. The King of Cups. Um, This is a water sign that's around you, so this might be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. They are the king, which is also the father energy. They might be your father or have that that energy about them. They, um, they are, there's something going on here where you're reestablishing a relationship contact your, or there's a, I feel it's connected to rebirth. There's a rebirth with this person, whether it is the father energy or it might be a significant other. Um, whoever this person is um, that has this water sign influence in their life or in the in their chart there's a rebirth with you in some way the three of wands very expansive 
The Empress is a three and you have another three here. So this is about expression. There's going to be no, um, no filter on your communication this week. You're going to be very forthright and honest with someone. You're willing to expand your horizons as well and look elsewhere if you need to for something. The chariot. So um, your willpower is definitely getting involved here. The wheel is turning in your favor. So things are going to, there's an increase in luck for you coming through this week. An increase in luck and a lot of energy that you're in control of, that you are directing that you are manifesting perhaps with this energy or just there's a direct energy um, that you have. It's you're in your um, in your power. That's the energy here. And you're in control in some way. The two of swords. So you have the fish here again. So I do feel this is a Pisces energy for some. The two of swords, the two of swords now. And this is about making sure that your mind and your heart are working together. And so to overcome any roadblocks or challenges up ahead this week, make sure that you're in alignment with your head and your heart. So let's take a look now at the pendulum. If you have any questions that you would like to ask your angels, guides or spirits, then you can think of that question now and we'll receive an answer through the pendulum. And the answer is no. So check in with your own intuition. See how that resonates for you and the question that you have asked about. So I hope spirits come through clearly for you today and you've received the messages that spirit wants you to know about. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.